When you throw a rock into a pond, circular water waves will form and move outward on the surface. When I disturb this slinky here, slinky wave forms and travels through the slinky. So what is a wave? A wave is not like a particle. When a wave travels, the material does not travel with it. When circular water waves travel outward, water does not move outward with the waves. When the slinky wave travels, the metal coils do not travel with the slinky wave. A traveling wave does not carry material, particle, or mass with it. It's the disturbance of the material that travels with the wave. The material a wave travels in is called a medium. Water is the medium for water waves, and the slinky is the medium for a slinky wave. As a wave travels, it does not carry its medium with it. A wave carries energy with it. One way to categorize waves is to look at whether a wave requires a medium or not. If it requires a medium, it's a mechanical wave. If it does not, it's an electromagnetic or EM wave. Examples of mechanical wave include water wave, slinky wave, earthquake wave, and sound wave, etc. Earthquake or seismic waves happen when an earthquake, big explosion, or volcano eruption disturbs the earth and create waves that travel through the earth. EM waves include radio wave, microwave, infrared, visible light, UV, X-ray, and gamma ray. They are oscillating electric and magnetic fields. EM waves from the sun can go through the vast vacuum and reach us. Note that sound waves are mechanical waves and therefore do not travel through vacuum. So when a spaceship gets blown up in space in a science fiction movie, there should not be any sound. However, most movie makers use sound in space battles for dramatic effect, regardless. Another special thing about the EM waves is that all EM waves have the same speed in vacuum. We use lowercase c for this speed. c equals to 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. When you hear people say nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, we're referring to this speed c. I ask my students to memorize this speed just because it is a very special speed. Now let's look at a slinky wave again. I can produce a single disturbance. This is called a wave pulse. I can also produce a periodic disturbance and get a periodic wave. Whether it is a wave pulse or a periodic wave, if my disturbance is like this, the wave travels that way while the medium, the slinky ring, moves in this direction. The motion of the wave and the motion of the medium are perpendicular to each other. We call this wave a transverse wave. This is another way to categorize waves. We compare the motion of the wave to the motion of the medium. If the velocity of a wave is perpendicular to the velocity of the medium, it's a transverse wave. If the velocity of a wave is parallel to the velocity of the medium, it's a longitudinal wave. On a slinky, I can make a longitudinal wave with this kind of disturbance. The wave travels that way while the slinky rings, the medium, travels this way, parallel to the wave's velocity. A longitudinal wave sometimes is also called a density wave or pressure wave because you get these density disturbance traveling through the slinky. Another example of a longitudinal wave is sound wave. Let's pretend that this slinky is a column of air and this is a drum membrane. When I hit the drum, the membrane vibrates which causes the air to vibrate. We get compression, the higher density and the high pressure air in this part, while having expansion or rarefaction with low density and low pressure air in this part. Examples of transverse wave include this kind of slinky wave, waves in a string, earthquake S wave, and all EM waves. Longitudinal waves include 
this kind of slinky wave, sound wave, and earthquake P waves. Here I have a pencil. If I hit the pencil this way, I will have more transverse wave traveling down the pencil. If I hit the pencil this way, I will have more longitudinal waves traveling down the pencil. When a disturbance such as an earthquake happens on the ground, we get both types of waves. The P waves are primary or pressure waves. The S waves are the secondary or shear waves. The longitudinal P waves travel faster than the S waves, hence the name primary. EM waves are oscillating traveling electric and magnetic fields. If a light beam travels to the right, the oscillating electric field would be perpendicular to the velocity of the light, while the magnetic field oscillates in a direction that is into and out of the page perpendicular to the electric field and the velocity of the light. Because the two fields oscillate in directions that are perpendicular to the wave velocity, EM waves are transverse.